Hi, I'm Nicole Brewer of Hamptons.com. I'm here today with Ramona Singer, a brand unto her own. Most of you might know her, I guess, from her show, The Real Housewives of New York City, but Ramona is a major businesswoman. How many brands do you have at the moment, Ramona? Well, I'm calling myself a serial entrepreneur. Um, I went into business myself when I was 30 years old and had a multi, multi-million dollar business. And, um, it was the best kept secret with my husband Mary. He was like, wait, I didn't know you had all this money. And you know, with the money I made, I bought, I bought a multi-million dollar house here in the Hamptons because I love mm -hmm. it in the Hamptons. And being on the show, it just definitely got my creative juices going. And mm -hmm. I believe you should be passionate about what you do. So jewelry, my husband, I'm married 19 years now. He has truefaithjewelry.com. So I got mm -hmm. involved in that. And then HSN. And it's all about estate jewelry. Nice. Um, it's all about pieces like that I emulate pieces such as like a Vedora, Bucciolati, Cartier, and this is in my Gorgeous. new show coming up July 8th. Love that. It's with real diamonds, real gemstones. Let's see. So I'll just borrow that for a couple it's, of days. It's yeah. And I did it in black too. Ooh, that goes with everything. Mm -hmm. Love it. Matching ring. Beautiful. Ooh, I love the ring. We're going to go shopping right here with Ramona today. All right. So I have Beautiful. it July 8th from July 8th. 1 to 3 p.m. HSN. Okay. Or you just go to hsn.com and click to Ramona Singer. And the jewelry will pop up and skincare you know what i'm 50 something and the reason one of the reasons why i look good is besides not putting my face in direct sunlight without mm -hmm. a hat or some sunblock skincare i developed a skincare that's algae based okay. and it's for all skin types and it's food for the skin so it just makes you look as vibrant as young as you possibly can it just gives you a healthy glow because it's all about regenerating the cell growth that sounds like this line i've tried it and it does work. You you get the lift, and all of a sudden it feels wonderful, and you yeah, think, two weeks later, my face has been to the spa, and I didn't go anywhere. It's wonderful. And we saw on the show, of course, you love Pinot Grigio, and in the summer, all right, year round. I drink it year round, but the summer, of course. You have to. You know, going on boats, hanging by the pool. It's a light drink. You can drink it anytime, anywhere, with mm -hmm. anything. And what I achieved here is a Pinot Grigio that's light with no bite. Because sometimes that last note can be a little mm. acidic, you know, mm -hmm. a little tart. This, this is smooth, so smooth. Now, what was the process like for you? Now, this is made in Italy. Mm -hmm. It's made in um, the Venezia region, which they call Veneto, which is like mm -hmm. the preferred area for the Pinot Grigio grapes. And basically, they harvest it there. They put it in steel drums. And when I worked with the people who blended it, I told them what my three or four top ones that I liked and what I mm -hmm. liked about them and what I did not like about them. So it took about three, four months to get this going. And um, it's retailing around $12, $13, depending upon the store. Mm -hmm. So it's a great price. It makes a great present and uh, it tastes delicious. Tastes delicious. You can find it all over the Hamptons, right down the street at Wrist. Oh yeah, it's at Henry Wrist, okay. right? H Wrist. And you have it at the restaurants such as uh, 75 Main Street. Great. It's at Savannah's. It's at Bobby Vans and of so, course Serafina. So all your favorite haunts in the Hamptons basically has your favorite drink in the Hamptons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder how that happened. Hmm. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> so talking about your favorite haunts in the Hamptons, what are some of your other favorite things to do while you're out here? Well, um, when I'm done here, I love sometimes going for lunch. Usually I like to go to the beach or by the pool, but today mm -hmm. I decided to spend some quiet time. I'm going to go to the new place, Tutabeno, that opened up. Tutabeno? Did I say it? Tutabeno? I'm not sure. I'm second. going there for dinner. I think. How do you say it? Uh, tuto Giorno. It. Isn't it Tuto a Giorno? You know what? No? I know. It's Tuto something. Okay, I'm we're going, going to go to Tuto, tuto something. In Southampton. Uh, yeah. And then um, tonight we're doing a big party for 30 people. We're going to um, do some lobsters and steaks. Delish. And then on, um, what's Saturday? Saturday, well, actually, we're going to go on a beautiful yacht on mm -hmm. Sunday. My friend just got this beautiful 80 foot yacht. It's a Riva. It's incredible. Nice. We're going to go to Sunset Beach and we're going to go with a family and adults and kids and have a great lunch there. Two tables of 14. It's going to be our own party within the party. You are always a party within the party. That is so fun. Mm -hmm. And then with the show, are you filming this summer? Or are you have We're not going to start off? filming, I think, to the end of the summer, beginning of the fall. Now, I, I watch the show and I've watched for years and it's been fun to see how you know, the, the ladies that you really see people, you know, come out of their shell and develop on the show. And you have always been tried and true Ramona. You, you call it how you see it, mm -hmm. and that's the way it is. On the show right now, it seems there's so many new ladies on the show. Right. Who, who is friends with who right now? Uh, you know, As I can't of right keep now? up with that. Basically, I'm polite to everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do have my issues with certain housewives, but we're not going to go into that. But I've just learned to just kind of, you know what? It's their problem, not mine. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. Um, you can't take that away from me. And I tell my daughter, you know, listen, 
you know, look what's going on with me. We're not even filming anymore and there's drama going on. And I said, Avery, this is the lesson. You know, you have to know who you are within yourself and have strong confidence. Mm -hmm. And your family has to know and you're good friends because otherwise when people start saying negative things about you that aren't true, it could be, it could, you know, not be good. But if you know who you are, it's okay. So all the things that anybody writes, it does it does it hurt or does it help? No, because I know who I am. You know, and, you. and I think the fans know who I am. Um, mm -hmm. I, I am pretty true to who I am. Mm -hmm. um, I've evolved a bit where I've renewed myself with my careers, my relationship with my husband, my mm -hmm. daughter, and my whole thing this year was trying to go deeper with my friends because my daughter is leaving for college in two years, mm -hmm. and that will be a void. So is Jill really my good friend or is she a friend of me? So you know, who mm -hmm. knows? It depends upon the day, but. You know, I just, I just, I don't know where it's going to go with her. So we, we have our, you know, she has her issues, but you know, what can you do? Everybody's no got one's their perfect. moment. No, nope. no one is perfect. No one is perfect. Would you do it again? Uh, you know, as long as I continue enjoying doing the show, which I do, I will. And it's been so great for me for business, and it's just, you know, opened up a lot of doors and got my creative juices going. And, and I have fun doing it. You know, it's fun. I mean, sometimes it gets a little hairy when you know, when you, especially when you watch. The show coming back, I'm like, Jill said that behind my back? Oh, that B.I., you know, why'd she say that? Like, say it to my face, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'd rather tell you to your face that, okay, I, you know, I don't like this blue dress, as opposed to someone saying, what a nice dress, and they walk over, the other person say, why was she wearing that blue dress? Right. I mean, so that's what I have a problem with, with some of the ladies, but, you know, that makes me different than them, and I guess it makes for good TV. It is. It's fun TV. It's a guilty pleasure. We all enjoy it, and it's been a pleasure having you here. For a little while on Main Street, here we are with Ramona Singer for Main Street Series at Hamptons.com. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. And we'll see you on HSN and on the show. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. We'll see you around town, Hamptons.com. Bye.